Hey guys, welcome to deconstruction video number one. And this is a simple, um, I'll show you what I'm doing so far. Um, I've taken out these buildings here were the first ones. So what I'm going to do is first get the structures, get the figures, get all this stuff put up and we'll work our way towards the back and get all these structures and little details like the power lines um, out. Uh, power lines in the back I'll get to once I get this all this cleaned up in front and then I'll work my way back. Um, I'll have a separate video on landscaping and getting that up um, and how I'm going to do that because I have a multitude of different trees which I think gives a layout a very good look. Um, so I'm going to kind of separate them because I have some ideas for the future layout um, that some of these trees will be separated by, by kind of what I'm going to do, especially these pine trees. I've got an idea for the pine trees because um, I'm going to do a little plains scenery and some and one end kind of be out west scenery with some mountains. Uh, kind of taking in maybe a little bit of Mariah's Pass, kind of in there with some mountains, because um, I'm going to be running Santa Fe and probably Burlington Northern a little bit uh, more. Um, so what I started doing first and foremost are the buildings. So I'm going to work my way back, and we get all these structures off of here, put away. Um, I'll show you what I have for them over here. I have this tote that I found in my alley of totes back there along the other wall. It should hold them. I've taken some off already. So um, we'll do that. And then um, I'll be back once I put them in the tote. All right, guys. Well, what you're looking at now is pretty much the structures are off. Um, all off uh, some of these little cars and stuff here I got a package up um, I had a couple casualties this guy here in the boat he sunk unfortunately he's in that rosin really good um, so he's he's lost his arm and what a bad caretaker I am of my railroad I let the poor guy sink in his canoe um, and then the other one was over here in the lumber yard. I have this, it's an old Atlas kit, I think, of a uh, lumber shed. It was kind of wooden looking. Um, I lost the base because when I poured that pond, it, it came this way. Um, and that ramp stuck on there, but those are easy to make. I can make another one of those if I decide that's the route to, that I'm going to go with a lumber yard. Um, this base I lost, not a big deal. The the water stuff got underneath it and it's on there very, very good. Um, so I worked to the back. What's in the back here, um, once I start working inward and get up there, um, I'm gonna get all this stuff off here. The little pigs, the little horses, the fence is better. Um, and the cows over there and their fence, the uh, cemetery scene, all that stuff. Over there, once I get up to that point where all this uh, scenery is taken off, um, and I get back to that point, especially back here with this mountain, uh, the scenes back here, um, all, all of that in the back, um, being another video. Um, then, of course, last video is going to be coming up with a track, and probably as much of this stuff here as I can get off. Some of this is not glued down. Which is why I never ran a train over it. Um, it is on the main. It's sealed up pretty good. Because um, I did get a couple locos that picked it up. That I still have to work on. In between working on the layout. Um, so that's where it's at. Um, really quick. Here's where my buildings that I did get put up. Wound up. I'm going to be very careful with this tote. I'm going to store it away from when I'm working on the layout, along with my other tote under there. Um, I'm gonna store that out of sight so nothing's touching it or bothering it. Um, 
And then I also back here on my workbench underneath there is my Digitrack system packed up. Um, so that's the first phase of this. Um, so that's what it is with the buildings. Next one, I'll probably show how I'm going to take apart some of these trees. And uh, this will be a long process, but um, that's where I'm at, guys. Um, really quick, these cars here. Um, I had an idea for another scene. Um, I saw this on uh, Vinny's, one of Vinny's videos where he's doing an operating session. Um, I think if it was in the Wickenburg area, or it rolled by uh, like an industrial area where there was where there was a pile of these cars like this all painted rusted up with weeds or something you know it was like a scrapyard scene um i really like that idea so sorry man i'm gonna borrow that idea i saw that and i thought man that that would be cool and maybe have a spur going into a fence or something with a scrapyard maybe find an old crane that's another idea for industry so um that's uh phase one um Video number two will be coming. Also, it will be uh, when I start building the layout. I hope to have my channel intro, a nice, you know, upgrade my channel. Plus, I'm thinking of a couple names for the railroad because I never really named my railroad. So I'm going to name it. Um, I won't change my channel. My channel will stay the same and everything. Um, but I will name it. So um, until the next video, everybody, have a... Uh, great week rest of the week and hope to make another video possibly maybe on the weekend um i hope to work a little bit on this on the weekend i um, hope to get to it so thanks guys thanks for the support um good things ahead with this railroad um you know yeah it sucks taking it up but you know the next one is just gonna be even better and i'm gonna be able to run trains with no problem and that's gonna be a great thing so uh, thanks, guys. See you in the next part two.